every Canadian either is getting something that's come to the port, they're using something that's come to the port, or they're making something and selling something that's going through the port. The port affects every Canadian, and I think a lot of people don't know that. We have a lot of products, pasta, olive oils, desserts, coffees, cheeses, meats. We import goods from Italy and all over the world, and we distribute to restaurants, hotels, and other retail stores. You know, not only food, but materials for building or what have you. It's, it's a huge part of our community, and it helps build Vancouver. The family farms are evolving and getting bigger, so there's a huge amount of fruit out there that we have to market and have to sell. So we need that global marketplace, and that market is, is necessary for, for the survival of our industry. That's a good blueberry. My entire family is involved in the port. I myself am third generation. My grandpa started, and then my dad, now they're kids, and we actually have fourth generation family members working down there now. And it's neat because going to work is, is like a family reunion sometimes because we have just under 40 family members that all work within the same port. So everything from Canada and to Canada either enters or exits through these ports. So whether it be, you know, grain in the prairies or seafood from British Columbia, it's unlikely we would be in business today if the port did not exist. You people need to understand the port's a two-way street. There's stuff coming in and tons of stuff going out. We trade over 120 million tons of cargo uh, every year with uh, over 160 foreign countries, land, marine, and air. It's the whole supply chain. Because we're in a global community, there's going to be more and more and more trade. There just is. And it's done through the port. That's really good for Canada, I think. International customers have very high quality standards and they come to BC to procure these products so their customers can enjoy what we have to offer. So if you need a beet or if you need a purple potato or you need a strawberry or you need a dragon fruit, we've got it here. A lot of what does not come locally comes through the port. The most economical way to do it. It's part of the fabric of what makes us Vancouver and what makes us different than other places. But for us, this is where our job is and our livelihood. And it's all right here in BC where you, you have everything you could possibly want. <laughs>